Hey, what's up guys? So it is Sunday and I actually just got back from church and it's funny, every time I go to church I start getting more and more ideas on marketing. Uh, and don't take this in offense in any way, but uh, churches are like the kings of marketing. They know what they're doing. So I've been able to come up with a few uh, points, the things that I've actually learned from church, from going to church that has improved marketing or, or things that you can take and implement. Um, if you don't, you know, if you don't go to church, whatever, then just take this for what it is marketing. If you do to go, if you do go to church, when you go, um, take a look at what they're doing and how they're getting more people into the services and, and how they're pushing their brand. Um, now they're not doing it in a bad way. Uh, you know, my beliefs is it's just, they want more people in their church. They want to spread the word of what they believe in. So I kind of took a few little points of what I've learned from church and marketing within the church and I put them into a, a little format here. Uh, the first one is to, to be cool. A lot of churches that you're seeing now are moving into this more relatable young crowd. And, uh, you know, it's, it's being able to get people to really see like, oh, wow, this is really cool. And then hit them with a message. So, uh, this is also in the movie The Social Network. If any of you guys have ever seen that, they start out, you know, the biggest equity that you have in a business when you're starting, especially for Facebook and the movie The Social Network, is Mark Zuckerberg had this really, it was cool. Everybody wanted to be a part of it, and you don't want to ruin that right away by trying to monetize that and then you lose that coolness factor. So the longer you can retain cool without monetizing it right away, the more you're going to get in, in it. So you'll see a lot of churches are going that route of being really cool. Um, and hitting that up with, with that younger crowd and all that. Uh, the other one I have is uh, to find something to believe in um, and believe in it yourself. When you truly believe in something and push it out there, more people are going to listen and relate. So, uh, you know, what's cool about churches is they've obviously got this core belief system that they're going to be, you know, putting out there for people to believe in. And when you fully believe in it and the people who are, you know, heading the church, obviously they fully believe in what they're preaching when they're putting that out there, you believe it because it's it's what they're saying and you can tell that they 100% believe in what they're pushing out there. So when you have a product or service and you're fully pushing it out there and letting people know, hey, this is what I've got, this is why you need this in your life, they're gonna believe you because they can tell that you believe in it. So fully believing in what you're putting out there, what you're pushing with your product and service is gonna be crucial to getting it out there. Uh, the other one I have is uh, social proof, right? Uh, you know, all these people, obviously churches have a huge impact uh, because they've got this incredible social proof of different people that have come to the churches uh, all over the country, not just the church that you're particularly at, but all the churches kind of help each other out by getting that social proof and by hearing what other people are saying. So by putting social proof in your business, the more social proof, you know, testimonials, the better you can be by getting that all out there. Um, and improve on others. Okay, this is key you'll see a lot of churches out there. There's a ton of churches. So you're not trying to reinvent the wheel here, right? We all we always hear that. We're not trying to, you know, you get a wheel, you're not trying to reinvent that. All you need to do is figure out how to make that better. You're going to spend way too much time trying to reinvent the wheel, just to improve on what's already out there. So you'll see this church is doing the same thing. Obviously, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of churches across the country. And you know, obviously they want the more people in the church because they want to spread their message. So using that same factor as, okay, let's see what they are doing and let's see what we can implement in our business to make that a little bit better. So don't try and just start everything from scratch. Take what's already out there, look around, duplicate and make it better. See how you can improve on what's already out there. So that's all I've got. That's just how churches can really affect your marketing. So go to church, uh, look at their marketing and see what they're doing. Uh, churches have the great, the greatest marketing pieces ever. Uh, I keep what's called a swipe file. I've got all these different files, or you know, all these different marketing pieces, even stuff in the mail, stuff that you would normally throw out just because it's junk. I keep in a box. I got that idea from uh, my friend and mentor that I work with every day, Dustin Matthews, who he has this huge box, and I'm talking huge box of just these random swipe files of different marketing pieces, stuff that they've done, stuff that you know. We've all done together as well as different things from different companies and everything. Uh, so start a swipe file, get all your stuff. If you see a marketing piece, you just look at the headline, look at how everything's positioned and stick it in a box. And you'll be surprised that at the end when you're looking to, okay, I need this type of marketing piece, look through your swipe file and see what you can incorporate. Look at, get, you can get some ideas and really improve your business just by keeping that box of 
drunk would, what other people would consider drunk. So that's it, guys. Have a great Sunday. I'm going to go watch some football. So I'll see you later.